Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. I'm Christine, and depending on when I edit and put this video up, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> as some of you know, I struggle with migraines, and while, yes, I, you know, I have migraines and I have other pain issues, I have never had migraine issues like I have over the past couple weeks. Um, for about 10 days straight, I had a non-stop migraine. Um, I would get a little relief, a little pain relief for maybe a couple hours with certain medications, but even regular medications <laughs> weren't working. And um, I even ended up in the ER <laughs> uh, to try to get some relief. I still had migraines for a couple days afterwards. Knock on wood, I'm doing pretty good today. Did pretty good yesterday. So I'm hoping I'm back in, you know, in, uh, I'm hoping I am going to be back to filming on a regular schedule, but my regular schedule now is not all that regular. So I'm trying. I really am. Um, so I've, I've got several videos. I just have to edit them and upload them. Um, I don't know if this will go up first or if you'll end up seeing. Um, I, I was one of the lucky ones. I waited for 12 and a half hours um, and I got the Raw Beauty Christie palette. And uh, as soon as I get that, even if I'm dying, I'm going to do a review of that <laughs> and get it up hopefully same day. All right, but I guess I should have done this first. What we're going to do today is, uh, you may have seen it on other YouTube channels. I believe Emily Noel is the one who started it. It's the uh, tag, uh, your fantasy thousand dollar Sephora card. If you, know, if you just had no, you know, money was no object, you could spend a thousand dollars, you got a gift card at Sephora for a thousand dollars, whatever it was, uh, what would you buy with that thousand dollars? So, what would I buy with my $1,000? Um, I did go through, you know, again, this is Sephora, um, you know, so there might have been, you know, if I'd gone to other places, there might have been some other things that I would have gotten. Um, but, what I pretty much looked for, um, I kind of went through, uh, a lot of this stuff is not new at all. Um, a lot of this stuff are kind of old standbys that I never did get and I just wanted to check them out for the first time but you know I can't justify paying the money for them now um, but yeah I mean you'll see there's nothing brand new on here but let's go through this is just how it was saved on my list so it's in no particular order I have a total of 18 items the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting powder um, again if this is you know if money is no object um, I know there are some dupes out there but I love Charlotte Tilbury her powders are incredible and I've just you know been dying to try this and I think the biggest thing that set me back that I well besides the price it's $45 um, that I haven't really tried it before is I'm kind of gonna getting into the groove where summer's the only time I really set my face anymore um, except for just my under eyes uh, the rest of my face unless it's a found, I'm wearing a foundation that really absolutely calls for it I've been getting away with not setting my face so you know in the winter if I'm not setting my face why am I spending $45 but again this is if the price were no object um, the next thing I think everybody in the world owns except for me um, and that is the NARS orgasm blush um, it, it's supposed to be the universal color for everybody. I know they have their whole line. They've got blushes and blush toppers and, you know, they've got, I think, like, lipsticks now and, you know, kind of like Charlotte Tilbury's done with her pillow talk. Oh, they've got I, even eyeshadow palette. I don't know. But I've never actually tried Orgasm, so, hey, might as well try it. Um, the next couple things... 
I've got on here only because they didn't have what I really wanted. <laughs> um, what I would love to get is one of the Hourglass Ghost palettes. Right now, they don't have any in stock. I know they usually come, Hourglass usually comes out with a, a new one around Christmas. I would love to try one of those Ghost palettes. Um, but barring that, looking at what Sephora has in stock right now, I want to try the um, Ambient Lighting Powder and an Ambient Lighting Blush. Um, I would prefer, again, the Ghost Palette has like six things in it. They're a little smaller pans. Um, they're usually around about $80. These two are the full size and they're $40 each. Um, but I'd also like to try their bronzer. Like Charlotte Tilbury, I've just heard incredible things about their power, powder formulas. So I really, really want to try those. Hopefully this Christmas maybe I can set aside a little money for myself <laughs> and uh, get whatever pa uh, package ghost palette comes out. Uh, I don't have much skincare on here. I actually, I think this is the only bit of skincare I have. Looks like it, yep. Um, but it's the Tatcha water cream. I have never tried Tatcha before, and for $68, I probably won't be, unless again, somebody did give me an amazing $1,000 shopping spree at Sephora. Um, but this is their water cream. I have recently decided that I don't like like cream moisturizers, like thick, heavy ones. Um, you know, my skin used to be really dry. And since I've actually started taking care of my skin, I've brought it back to where it's pretty normal. It's not really, I mean, sometimes during the summer, a little bit my T-zone might feel that a little bit, but I, you know, I, I feel like my skin's pretty normal now. And I tried out a couple of gel moisturizers and I really, really like those. So I think I'd like, you know, and I hear such great stuff about Tatcha. So that would probably be the one product that I would like to try. Um, more Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the new airbrush matte bronzer. It's $55. Uh, you know, I'm loving bronzers these days. I never really thought I was a bronzer gal, but <laughs> um, I really, really, really love my Fenty bronzer. I'm actually not wearing it today. Um, I'm wearing the Hoola bronzer only because um, I'm testing out a foundation and I wanted to set it to see how it worked with powder. And I did that before. <laughs> and I realized, oh, that's a cream. I can't put, I shouldn't put a cream on top of the powder. So I just use the Hoola bronzer. Uh, next thing I have on here, um, I've only tried a few Huda Beauty products. I've tried lots of dupes of her palettes, but never one of her actual shadow palette formulas. And I thought if I'm going to do it, the one I would like to try is the new nude. I do have a dupe of it, but again, you can dupe the colors, but duping the formula is much, much harder. And I really, really like the colors in the dupe that I have. So I would like to try it out and see what the real thing is like. <laughs> um, this next one is kind of a cheat. Um, I put an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette on here, but it's not really the palette that I would want. Um, I mean, I would take it. Um, but I put down the Omrizi Shadow Eyeshadow Palette. It's $49. Um, but really the one that I would like to try is the Jackie Ina. I don't know. I think it's still available at Anastasia Beverly Hills at her own site, but I haven't seen it on Sephora in a while. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure, I think it was a limited edition, so they're probably not selling it anymore, but you know, if I could switch it out for that, I would rather switch it out for that. Uh, the one and only hair product on here, not, you know, 
don't use a lot of hair products. I really should because my hair is a hot mess. Um, but I really, really want to try the Olaplex Hair Perfector. Um, now, this is actually something that I probably will try. Um, there's a couple things on here that I would realistically buy soon, but not too many. Um, and actually, Sephora has a little travel size or trial size of the Olaplex system uh, for $25 that I might actually pick up and see. But obviously, my hair, you know, it's very thick, it's very wavy, it's bleached, so it's very damaged. Um, you know, and I just really want to have nice, silky, shiny hair, which I never get. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought maybe this would help it because I've heard really good things about it. So, you know, even you know, for $28 for the just the hair perfector, I know it would work best with the shampoo and conditioner and everything, but the perfector, the number three, is what I hear the most about. So that's probably what I would try. Um, the only, is this the only lip product? Yes, the only lip product I have on here probably because I have a bazillion lip products already, um, is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. Because I don't do a lot of Too Faced anymore. I haven't really been impressed by a lot of the things, but I have heard such great things. People who even hate Too Faced, um, they really like this liquid lipstick. So yeah, for $21, I would try it. Uh, next is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescuing Moisturizer. This is actually probably one that I will try to pick up soon. Um, I just recently tried the, um, the Double Wear and I loved it. And I keep hearing so many great things about this, this new Estee Lauder one that it's, you know, more you know, a little dewier and, but it's still long wearing and looks really good. So I am definitely, definitely want to pick that up soon, but you know, thought I'd put it in this list as well. Um, you knew this one was coming. A Natasha Denota palette. This one, I only wanted to put one on here because I didn't want to put, I, I could load up on Natasha Denona and fill up my thousand dollars, but I kind of narrowed it down and I know this is, was not the highest rated one of her palettes because of the color story, but I went with the Metropolis palette, which is $129. And I kind of went with it because of the awkward color story. Um, you know, it doesn't, when I look at it, it doesn't quite make a lot of sense to me, but it has such a variety of colors. I thought, you know, that could kind of, it's kind of a mishmash of some of her other, other palettes, like the gold palette and has some other colors in there that I thought, well, I could get a lot of her colors in one palette. <laughs> I don't know what kind of looks I would come up with and how I would work with the color story, but that's the one I chose. Uh, next, and I think this is my last Charlotte Tilbury product. Uh, <laughs> um, the Beauty Highlighter Wand, it's $38. Again, I've heard great things about this and the Contour Wand. I don't do really contouring. I use my bronzer as kind of a bronze tour. Um, so I decided to go with this. The only thing I don't like about it is the stupid puffy thing at the end. Um, but you know, I would at least try it and see how it works. And if it doesn't work, I tear off the little puffy thing, but it just, you know, all the pictures I've seen, it, it looks so good. And yeah, um, I know it, you know, it's got great ratings. So that's my last Charlotte Tilbury product. Um, another eyeshadow palette. Are we surprised that half of my thing is eyeshadow palettes? Um, and Marc Jacobs Iconic palette. Uh, I've wanted to try these for a while. I really wanted to try the Stiletto. 
uh, but I don't see it on their site anymore. Uh, so the one I put in here was the limited edition um, multi-finish palette in extravagance. I don't know if this is the one they this summer or their pride or whatever it was, but you know it's limited edition for that. But that was the one that I, the colors looked most interesting to me, and I really wanted to try the Marc Jacobs formula for a while. Uh, here's another biggie. Um, and this is kind of a cheat too because the one I really want is not in stock. Pat McGrath. I want one of the Mothership palettes. They're $125. So God only knows when I actually will get one. But um, I want the Mothership 4. And right now it's just not in stock at Sephora. So I put the Mothership 3 in my in my uh, in my shopping cart, uh, but not that I wouldn't take it, trust me. But if I had to pick, it would be four. Um, the only other foundation I have on here is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I had a sample of this and it was really, really beautiful. Um, and I just never got around to purchasing it. And it was one, it's one of those things like, I'm trying to get new foundations to review on my channel and I have foundations that really really work for me so it's hard to justify buying an old foundation <laughs> that you know is you know it's not gonna bring in views or anything like that and that's what I'm trying to do is grow my channel so you know if I just had the 40 bucks to blow I would do it on that it worked really well on me. Um, it's gotten, you know, a, a lot of good reviews and it's huge. It's normally uh, a foundation is one ounce. This is 1.6 ounces. So while it's $40, it ends up being, you know, probably less than 30 an ounce, which is, you know, pretty decent for foundation. Uh, my last eyeshadow and my dog is barking in her sleep again if you hear that um, if you are a long time watcher <laughs> you'll know that uh, my dog you know she hangs out wherever I am and she is a sleep talker she talks a lot in her sleep and uh, yeah so she's napping right now and I can hear her barking in her sleep so if you hear that she's not in distress she's just dreaming okay yeah <laughs> So my last shadow palette is Melt Cosmetics. Um, I hear such a dichotomy about Melt Cosmetics. Some people absolutely love the formula and some people say it's garbage, which is why I haven't bought a palette so far. <laughs> um, you know, for $58, that's a lot to spend on something if it's total garbage. Uh, I really, really, really wanted the Love Amore set that came out last year um, with the Sugar Skulls. I thought those were beautiful, but I guess they were limited edition and I haven't seen them on Sephora in a long time. So the one I put on here right now was the 420 eyeshadow palette just because I really love those colors right now. Um, you know, greens and golds and like the bronzy kind of things. I really, really love those colors. Um, so right now, if I were going to try one, that would be the one I would try. And my very last item, um, it's actually been in my wish list for quite a while. I keep waiting for sales and can, you know, this one's, I guess, new enough that it hasn't gone on sale yet. Uh, it's the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. So it's the most recent one that just came out, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago. Um, the only bad thing is, is it has Hula. I know they put Hula in all of these. And I already have Hula Bronzer. I don't need another Hula Bronzer. But, you know, I would take it because of, you know, it has... Um, Dallas and Sugar Bomb and Georgia in it and Cookie. I want Cookie so much. <laughs> but I really, really like the Georgia and the Dallas and the Sugar Bomb too. So 
or, or I like the way they look. I haven't tried any of those, but that's $60. <laughs> and I was really tempted when it came out. And every time I place an order, I'm like, mm, I really want to get it because it's five pans for $60. You know, that's not too bad. That's $12 a pan. But then I also look over at my blush drawer and I have so many blushes that it's hard to justify it. So when you put all that together, it comes, and this is without tax, <laughs> so I probably would go over the thousand with tax, but it's $993.50. <laughs> I don't think $18, isn't, or 18 items isn't that bad for that, you know, considering I picked you know, these are not sale items. I'm usually very thrifty when I when I shop. I love to, you know, get the clearance things. I like to get things on sale. I like to use gift cards. But, um, yeah. Now, if somebody wants to go ahead and uh, donate a $1,000 gift card to me, you know, so that I can review things on this channel, I would greatly accept it. But until then, I think this is just going to have to be you know, just wishful thinking for a while. All right. So if you have a channel, you know, let me know, give me the link. I want to see what you liked, what was on your list and tell me what you liked on mine or what you think I should have put on there or what I have on there. That's total garbage. And I should take it off right now. <laughs> and thanks so much for spending your time with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. -bye.